now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Till midnight tonight. Hi, hi, everybody. I'm just trying to prevent myself from getting COVID, and uh, so I won't be underdressed uh, when we bring this other person in here. Let me see here. What do we got? There we go. Okay. Let me. Um, hmm. Let me see here. I gotta do this. There we go. And I thought you were gonna wear yours. I was waiting for you to put yours on. Oh, I see. Okay. We have matching. See, now, if Phil told me to go out and buy these. Yeah. Because they prevented your glasses from. Well, they weren't as. as uh, I, I got news for you. Watch this. Yeah. See? They get all, all blurred up. No, they're not, they're not blurry. No, uh, but they also don't fit my face well. Why is that? I don't know. They, because if I start talking, what happens? Oh, lift it up higher. I know. I lifted it up higher, and then it, it got too much down here. The trouble is they don't make these things for people with beards. Yeah. You know? And so, consequently, uh, they keep falling off. Now, you see, now let me, let me get one of the just the, the normal ones. Hold on a second. Oh, you're all tangled up. Oh, now I'm all. Look at this. Like, there's another reason I can't do it, right? Okay, hold on a second. Wait a minute. What? If I hold on. Push my chin, hold I can kind of get it to come yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. You actually Jeez have almighty. to try to do that. Ah, there we go. Okay, now let me get my. Where, where are one of my other ones here? I have had another one here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Ah, okay. Now you see these. Yeah. These just, they stay on just fine. No matter what I do, they don't go anywhere. See? I mean. Well, they're tighter. Look at your ear. You're minute, pulling it halfway across it uh, so uh, Fifth you. Avenue. What? What? Your, your, your right ear. You're, you're pulling it halfway across Fifth Avenue. It's so tight. It's not no, that yep, tight. It's, right it's, it's not yeah. that tight. Yeah. No. Look at your ear. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I, I just didn't. Well. I guess I, I guess yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit, but I don't care. I, um, uh, who, who's the guy on our gang that uh, had the ears? So, I look like Mr. Spock. <laughs> okay, no, they're not uh, pointy. Anyway. Hey, it's Tuesday. It must be Phil and Alex. It must be Phil and Alex. Yeah. Uh, ah, boy, let me put. Can we, can we dispense with the masks? Is that possible? I don't possible? know. Uh, my sister you know, hmm. uh, tested positive. My sister tested positive for COVID. Did she really? Yeah. Hmm. And my mom lives in her house. Oh, boy. And my mom's going to be 92 on the 9th. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, my mom's in great shape. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't matter. Yeah. That doesn't matter. It, 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 it is that age brings with it certain weaknesses, which uh, this uh, virus plays upon. But anyway... Has your mother taken a test? Uh, no, uh, she feels fine. She's in a different section of the house. It's a big house, and they're uh, you know she's got her own like uh, wing, and uh, so she just has. A, my sister hasn't come out of her room. It's been yeah. seven days. She's quarantining, and she said yesterday she felt like she had the flu, but other than that, you know, yeah, you know, she's. Asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. You know, I think I went out for five minutes yesterday up to the drugstore, and that was it. You know. Yeah. Well, that, that's you know, you're you're going into the, the a den of uh, of sickness because everybody else that's sick is going to the drugstore to get whatever they need to feel better and spread the disease. Uh, no, there was hardly anybody there. Yeah, but today sick. Marjorie pissed me off today because yeah. what she did, 
she had to go to her um, she had to go to the dentist to get her teeth cleaned. Yeah. All right. She takes the bus home. Well, that's better than the subway, I guess. But yeah. She said there were only two other people on the bus, but I just, you know, I just don't think you take any chances now, you know? You know, it's like when you get a new car and you park in a parking lot mm -hmm. far away from everyone else, mm -hmm. and, and there's only two cars in the parking lot, and where's the other car park? Right next to yours. Right. Well, it's the same thing on the bus. Yeah. It's on the bus. There's two people on the bus. Where does the other person sit and sneeze? Yeah. Right next to her. I mean, I feel like crap all the time anyway, so, you know... Uh, because my eyes are always burning and I'm sniffling all the time. This has gone on for months. This is not just, you know, right now. So, yeah, I, I understand. You know, I I felt uh, uh, warm and you know, like I didn't feel that good, mm -hmm. but it mm -hmm. it goes away. Well, I get uh, feeling warm, but then I take my temperature and I'm well under, oh, you know. Yeah. So uh, I'm not. I'm not. I you know, I take it twice. Well, three times, well, maybe four, five, six times a day. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and I, you know, I'm okay, but I'm always tired. I'm just absolutely exhausted. I, I think about doing the show for an hour and a half. Then I go, I hope I can get through it, you know? Well, uh, I, I have a feeling from what I read, it's the radiation, a side effect of it. Is uh, is is your time this for a this while. far along? I mean, that was uh, back uh, in March, right? Yeah, I think so. Matter of fact, I didn't start feeling tired until several months afterwards. Let's see, yeah. I I ended in July, mm -hmm. and uh, here it is December, and now I'm getting the fatigues. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe that maybe that's what it is. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, because know. because I had twice the radiation you did. Okay, because you had just the regular radiation, and then I had the radiation plus then I had the seeds right which was the second form of radiation so I guess I'm pretty tired yeah well it it, it it's its toll so I got a call from my urologist today no. oh I haven't seen in a year and he is his, uh, his uh, secretary or nurse or whoever said the doctor would like to see you he would just for a checkup you know because he has because the urologist once I started going to the oncologist, I didn't even go back to see the urologist. And quite frankly, it has been a year, and I'm sure he had something that went, oh, Alex hasn't seen you in a year, so you should go back in. Now, with me, they're not going to uh, uh, explore my uh, digitally, uh, uh, you know, tell me to bend over. But with you, you still got a prostate. Well, so yeah, but if he goes in there and he digitally uh, inspects me, he might cut his finger. On the seeds. On the seeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. So anyway, so I, I, but then I, I, uh, then I suddenly, I listened to the message, the original message she sent before I called her back. And she said, so the doctor would like to see you or we could do a, a, a televisit. So I told her I didn't want to go in because of, you know, the COVID's out there. It's lurking. It's trying to get me. And she, I said, but I, 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 I imagine I can do it. And then I heard her message, and the message said we could do a televisit. So I'm calling her back tomorrow and say, if you can do a televisit, that's what I'm doing, you know. You know, all the televisit does is put one more block in front of seeing the doctor. You know, what's he going to see in a televisit? Uh, no, he's probably just going to ask me. He's probably going to ask me a bunch of questions, and I can tell him that I've had my PSA taken. Uh, and, uh, you know, recently, about just, uh, oh, about two months ago, and it came out zero. You right. Know, so, uh, and I had one before that that was 0 0.02, you know. So, that's pretty low. That's pretty low. It's like I don't have a prostate at all. Yeah. You know, you should have the zero. I should have like a you want it. Point five or something. I don't uh, get folks. Zero. I know you don't know what we're talking about, and we don't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't get zeros. I get less than point zero one. Oh, okay. Uh, and then they say non-detectable. Non-detectable. Yeah, because you don't have a prostate. So obviously, if they're trying to detect the prostate in you, there's no reason they can. You well, don't, folks. What are we talking about? You don't care. You don't care that we've got this. That he's got had prostate cancer, and I had prostate cancer. And, 
And if you call the show, you'll get prostate it's cancer. It's like Oprah. You got prostate cancer and you've got prostate cancer. Yeah. Wow. No it's for you. Yeah. Uh, it's just one of those niggling little things that happen to old men. Okay? So. I wasn't anyway. so old. Huh? Yeah. I wasn't that old. Uh, I, they detected it at 62. I'm 66 now. Yeah, they, the reason why they cut yours out and they got really serious about it was because, and it, it's always the case with people like your, your uh, age, uh, th that they decide that it's a pretty good idea if they just uh, don't take any chances at that age because well, it could be more aggressive. Yeah, I... Uh they offered me uh, radiation mm -hmm. uh, or removal, mm -hmm. and uh, I ended up having to get both. Really? Yeah, you know, because they removed it, and then a year and a half later, there were some errant little cells running around. Mm. Uh, mm. You know, I gather that's what happened to Ronnie, is that when they took care of her pancreatic cancer, uh, and that was successful, there must yeah. have been some errant cells, and it metastasized in their lung, and... Yeah. And other things. Yeah. yeah. Well, what the hell? Anyway, so how have you been otherwise? Uh, I I've been okay, although we're in a lockdown again. Uh, California, mm -hmm. even though the uh, ICU rate wasn't where they said it needed to go in order to have a lockdown, mm -hmm. they have been preemptively locking down uh, restaurants. Uh, and and there there's a lot of hypocrisy going on in California. Well, I don't know that it's hypocrisy, Phil. It is, you know. Let's face it. I think you'll agree this is a pretty deadly affliction, right? Uh, it, it is for certain classes. No, of no, people. no, no. Forget about that. You don't know whether you're that person or not that person. I mean, people they say are perfectly healthy, and sometimes they've been like twenty eight year olds. Well, I am that person. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I know that the way I, I know that if I got it, I probably would get a bad case of it. OK, that's why I'm making sure I'm being especially safe. Now, Rudy Giuliani has it. Do yeah. We, yeah. Right. <laughs> Do we have any reports as to how he's faring? He's supposedly doing just fine, which is really bothering a lot of us. Did they give <laughs> him the same things they gave the president? No, no. He didn't get all of those uh, extra little treatments. Yeah, they asked him, where does it hurt? And he stuck his hands down his pants. <laughs> so, it, uh, you know, um, uh, I, I don't know. I wish I could feel sorry for Rudy Giuliani, you know, but hey, I, I, he I, had I, prostate cancer. Yes, I know. My, the guy, the guy who put the seeds in him, put the seeds in me. I'll bet he did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, saved, saved Rudy's life. Yeah. And I'm sure you're thankful for that. Well, uh, yes, I am. Because I he's like been it. such a good lawyer. And well, a loyal friend. Too. Yes, but a real good lawyer during all of this. I don't think he has won a single appeal, has he? Well, uh, I don't know that he will. You know, I obviously they are looking at the, uh, the amount of votes that it would take to change the election. And mm -hmm. the amount of votes that may be uh, fraudulent or uh, improper, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's well. It's you heard not... about the Supreme Court tonight. Yeah. Uh, now uh, that wasn't Pennsylvania. That was Supreme Court isn't no, going to no. take. It, it was about Pennsylvania, about the Pennsylvania case. They had appealed to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court said, "We're not going to take it." Right. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, well, there's no case here. We're not going to take it. I. Uh, that's fine. It's just that uh, Trump has the right. And 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 I am glad that he's exercising it to make sure that the election is fair. You know, we are not. Uh, yeah, Zimbabwe. but you know, Phil, Phil, you know, that isn't the reason he's doing this. He's looking for every way he could possibly win this thing. He doesn't care about our democracy and that uh, the, democracy has not been served by this election because I was robbed. He wasn't <laughs> robbed. You know, well, he wasn't robbed. But there is a number of whistleblowers, and there's a number of people. No, I saw those up. whistleblowers. They were they were they were, they were completely um, like those people in Michigan. Some of them were just nutcases. 
well, that's what you say. But they uh, they've sworn uh, affidavits that they uh, that this was true and it should be investigated. You know, this in our country, we've always had uh, a lot of uh, uh, we've relied on the fact that our elections mm. were free and fair. And if they're not and there's a chance that it has been tarnished. We need to correct that. Phil, we Phil, Phil. shining light on the Phil, whole world. Phil, it, admit something. We liberals, I say liberals as a we only because I don't consider myself a liberal. I consider myself a lefty. But I say we because I want that umbrella are really a bunch of pussies. Do you think we're capable of, of fixing an election? No, the Republicans are really good at that, but we're not. You know, anybody's capable of anything. And, uh, you know, they have said in Georgia, oh, Republicans, don't go out and vote. This is a fixed election. They're trying no, to. But, you're, but the Republicans are saying that, Phil. It's not Democrats. It, it, Republicans it, that, uh, you know, uh, say stupid things, too, just like Democrats. But I believe that what they're trying to do mm -hmm. is they're trying to cause people to say, oh, well, let's give up. A lot of people say, hey, you know. Trump is lost. Why not? Uh, why not just face facts? You know, because well, he let, let, me, let me let me let me throw this at you, <laughs> Phil. I mean, yeah. you know, it's one thing to say, well, I want to exhaust every possible thing I can to make sure that I did lose. Um, but the, the problem with that is that he is also denying the future president, the ability to have access to materials and to parts of the government that he needs to have access to to be able to hit the ground running once he becomes president. And one of those things happens to be uh, the whole COVID thing. Uh, you know, he says, oh, I'm not going to make him aware of any of the COVID stuff until it's official. Well, come on. You know, we need to have him... Hit, and, and on top of that, this is the president who turned down uh, a larger amount of the uh, vaccine from uh, Pfizer. So that I, Pfizer, Pfizer so told them uh, way back when, when they were ordering them up, uh, you know, we'd like to give you a, a chance at getting, I think, another 10 million or whatever the amount of doses were. And we and the Trump administration turned it down and now that has been allocated to other countries, and we're not going to get any more of the Pfizer until about April or June. May, you, April or May, rather. At AstraZeneca Oxford, or is it Pfizer Oxford? Well, it's, it's Pfizer. I can't remember the name of it. It's another company. Yeah. Okay. The, it's uh, Pfizer. It's the Pfizer. It's the one that's uh, going to be okayed probably tomorrow and, and well, out on the streets by Monday. In the UK, a 90-year-old woman took I know, the phone I know. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. But, now, but the, the thing is that we were supposed, we, we could have ordered up more, but and we were told, if you want it, we're happy to make you first on the list, okay? And uh, the Trump administration said, nah, you don't need to do that. And so, therefore, th they then allocated about another how many millions and millions of doses to other countries. So, well, they, so they're uh, ahead of us now in being able to get it over us who are only going to get like, I don't know how many, 10 million, something like that, 10 million doses, something like that. But hmm? uh, I, uh, And I know that, uh, uh, what's the one that starts with an M? Uh, they, Moderna. 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 They're ramped up to uh, produce a lot more. But Biden said the other day, and he must not be getting these briefings because this is what he said. Uh, you know, the Pfizer uh, uh, vaccine has to be stored at like minus mm -hmm. 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, how are they going to get it into the needles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a good question. The answer to that is that it, it only has to be at that temperature with, and then you have to be able to get it into the needles and into the arms within five hours. So, Correct. so you let it defrost. Right. <laughs> you so, know, I mean, said, you know, the Trump administration, they they have this vaccine. It's going to be a hundred degrees below zero. How are you going to get it in the needles? No, well, they, they, he he wasn't complaining about 
uh, Pfizer, he was just saying, it's a problem. It's really a problem of distribution that's the big problem there. You uh, know. They come with their own refrigerators. Uh, no, they come with stuff that keeps them frozen until they are taken out of the box and put in a refrigerator. Uh, I thought no, it was... No, it, it's no. A, it's a box, and there are five levels of these things. And then on top is a thing of dry ice and a, 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 a GPS hmm. uh, and a temperature gauge to let them know if the temperature goes below a certain amount while it's traveling, okay? Then once it gets to the hospital, it's put in a 95 degree, uh, below, a 95 below uh, yeah. refrigerator. Yeah. And then it's used as needed, yeah. Well, you know, I guess that dry ice, when they're done with it, they could use it at rock concerts. Yeah, things like that, yeah. Use it to make horror films. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I mean, it, it, it's, uh, uh, it, it's just terrible that, that we did not take them up on the offer for more. Uh, because, and, and by the way, by the way, you can't use the excuse that this was, well, this was just being developed. Because believe it or not, this particular drug has been around for I hear, fifteen years, something like that. What what are they? Uh, what were they treating? Uh, with uh, they weren't with... treating anything. They were they were developing it for just something like this. And then when this hit, they said, Ah, you know, batch number twenty that probably could do it. And they they tested it, and it was it, it worked. You well, know? we we got a better deal than those other countries. COVID-18, uh, that, that was 50% off. Yeah, that was 50% <laughs> off. At first. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it, it's just that um, uh, it, it's kind of sad that we didn't, uh, we didn't order more. And so we're not going to get any more of the Pfizer. Once we run out of the Pfizer that we have now, that we have uh, available to the hospitals now, uh, that's it until like uh, May. We don't oh, get it, any more of that. We'll, I mean, we'll be able to get the Moderna. We'll be able to get the uh, Oxford. The Oxford one supposedly pretty good. And, Astra, and some of the, huh? Astra, uh, AstraZeneca is another company, yeah. But what happened is, is that it's going to be, uh, it, it's going it, 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 to, there are a lot of different versions. I think I would much rather have the one where, I think there's one where you only have to have one shot. That's and, Moderna. That's Moderna is the one shot, and they don't have to store it in cold temperatures. Uh, I think that is vastly superior to the uh, yeah. Pfizer, but I think the Pfizer has a with two shots has a higher percentage of uh, of um, um, uh, what do you call it uh, working? Yeah, yeah. So like ninety five percent or more. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, the way they're going to roll these things out mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in the quantities that they're able to do it logistically, maybe it didn't pay to get more until May. Because... Well, the, the, you know, the only argument that I would uh, give uh, Trump credit for is that at that point, they didn't know whether this one would work or not, but they were pretty sure it was going to work. It was already considered to be the front runner. In the whole thing. And and certainly, you know, if you order a whole batch and then you don't use it because you find that it doesn't work, uh, right. you're, you're going to get your money back. You know, they're not going to they're not going to well, the deal that Trump made them was we're going to give you the money to buy these things, whether it works or not. Start developing uh, the distribution and the production. Well, no, they had nothing to do with the development. The government warp, uh, warp speed had zero to do with the with the uh, start producing yeah. and uh, you know and and get ready to distribute uh, and we'll pay you for it whether it works or not. So just quickly, do you believe? Do you agree with those people who think we should call this the Trump vaccine? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, Phil! Eat come on. T on mm. front of the vial. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, big gold tea, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. On each one. Oh man, you know, uh, it's it's. Uh, I can I, it, I I can hardly wait till he's out of there. And once he's out of there, I just want him to shut the fuck up. Well, okay? he's not going to. You know, yeah. this is. And neither are you. <laughs> neither are you. <laughs> of course he's not. Got, he's got a bully pulpit. Yeah. He's got seventy-four million people that supported him. Well, that doesn't mean seventy-four are going to follow him. 
I think no, his no, no, they, 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 uh, than uh, Biden's, mm -hmm. and 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 most of them are still alive, unlike the ones that voted for Biden. Oh yeah, well there are a lot of dead people that voted for Biden. I'm one of them. Yeah. So, you know. um, but you, uh, you voted for Trump. Hmm. You told me you voted for Trump. Well, don't tell anybody. Well, don't tell anybody. I, I ratted you out. Right. <laughs> ratted me out. No, I. Uh, I'm sorry. I. I, I. I would shoot myself if I voted for him. I would feel very guilty if I, if I voted for him. But you know, I. You know, you got to admit it. He lost, right? Uh, oh come on! Don't be like. Don't be like some of those Republican senators. He lost. Uh, well, we'll see. You mm -hmm. know, hey, if he says I lost, and mm -hmm. if he says I'm done, and he concedes, they don't look any further. Because he's done. He concedes. It's all over. But if he doesn't concede, mm -hmm. then they're going to continue to look and they're going to find those votes uh, in fields. And uh, yeah, well, and, they, and, don't you know, don't you know that one of the stories was that I think it was North Korea faked ballots and then shipped them to Maine. And then they were offloaded there and spread out to the rest of the United States. Why, if you were in North Korea, you would go to Maine instead of California is beyond me. It's not oh, their close. missile guidance system wasn't so good, and they missed. Yeah, the something like that. Hey, listen, we got to go because there are going to be people who want to talk here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, and you do know that I uh, did donate to the Cancer Society. Did I you know. get the? I know you did. I know you did, and I told. Uh, I told. Uh, our Rob, friend, or not Rob, uh, Robert, Robert that, and uh, so yeah, all right, congratulations. But uh, that was nice of you to do. I think it was my pleasure. Plus, uh, it was nice of Robert to suggest that it go to the Cancer Society. I was happy to send it to you to send to him. But uh, what are you going to do? Hey, you could have sent it to me, and I would have spent it anyway. <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Wave goodbye, Phil. See Goodbye, Phil. There, there we go. There goes Phil. There he goes. He's gone. And uh, let me see here. Let me get rid of him here. Oh, oh, I already did. He hung up. So I don't uh, I need to do anything. Let me see here. Uh, let me go to my Zoom panel. Okay. And we will start admitting everybody into the Zoom panel so we can see what's happening here. And uh, we have, uh, let's see here, we have Phil Stein, and we have, uh, um, uh, let me see here, we have Charlie Wallace, and we have Brian Neary, and we have Trucker Steve and his sidekick, Rocky. Of course, you, you're not in the truck right now, are you, Trucker Steve? Well, huh? No, I just, I got home uh, this morning. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, so uh, Rocky is probably asleep somewhere, right? He's upstairs with my wife. <clears throat> now, does Rocky and, does Rocky like traveling like that? Is it, he must, otherwise you wouldn't. Yeah, take he him does. Either. Yeah. Uh -huh. But he's a mama's boy, so he's up with mommy. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, wh where is where is Brian going? Oh, I thought you were. Did you lose something there, Brian? Uh my ambiance. Got my lights on. Oh, oh, you got Ooh. the blue lights in back. <laughs> Isn't that sexy? Hello, Robert. We haven't seen you for a couple of nights, but glad how, to have you here. How are you here. guys? Glad to have you here. Glad to be oh, here. Oh, Charlie's on. I thought you'd be watching your uh, Cowboys. Yeah, right. I That's like, a tough I like one. A dagger, sticking a dagger <laughs> in the heart. <laughs> It's interesting. Uh, sorry, sorry to take over the conversation real quick, but uh, interesting. This guy, this guy at work. Uh, we were chatting a little bit. He had the Eagles. He has Eagle sweatshirt on. His brother is. He works for for us, but his, his brother is the uh, one of the receiver coaches for the Eagles. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. All right. You know, I don't know anything about this. I know. I, wasn't know, I don't know about this. this stuff. <laughs> all I know is Ohio isn't playing. Because Ohio they all State. have COVID. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Which is a great way if you're other the other team of claiming a win, you know. So, anyway, uh, how, uh, so anyway, um, how you doing, Robert? I'm good. I'm good. How's everybody? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm tired as usual. I don't know. Just 
I, Phil may be right. It could be he, he says he's having the same problem because of the uh, perhaps the uh, uh, radiation that we have, and touch that could be the cancer. Uh, huh? How that could be what I'm touch, feeling. A touch of the cancer. A touch of the uh, no. Uh, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm hope I don't have the cancer any longer. So. Mm -hmm. but, but I mean, they never say you're cured. They always say you're in remission or something like that. Who is Alan? Let's see who this is. Uh, I wonder if there's somebody we already know who's just using the name Alan. Let me see here. That's, that's Alan. Hello, Alan. Do we know you? Alan, can you hear us? You? Yeah. It's uh, Alan. Hi, Alan. How are you? Uh, good, good. Long time viewer, first time caller. Oh, okay. Well, let's all let's all applaud him, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just. Let's, let's, Thank let's, you. Thank let's. you. Alan, where are you calling from? Fremont, California. Ah, Fremont, oh. California. So, you're down near. Is he near you, Brian? Yeah. Brian, is he near Brian you? Froze up. Huh? I froze up. Where's Brian? The uh, Brian's in. Uh, where are you? Where are you, Brian? I forget. Uh, Almeda Valley, San Jose. Oh, there's Brian. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So he's across the water from you. Where are you at, oh. Brian? In San Jose, Almeda Valley. Oh yeah. Oh, I know that area. And where hmm. are you? Where are you from? In Fremont, uh, near oh, Ottawa. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the facilities we're opening is in Newark, right there off of the freeway. Yeah. Right on. You know what always amazed me is that in California, I suddenly realized that one day there are a lot of towns they named after New York names or <laughs> Eastern East Coast names. Newark is a good example of that. Mm -hmm. um, there were a few others that I, I've come across from time to time. If I had a map in front of me, I could tell you all of them. But I just go, what happened? A bunch of people came out to California and they were missing the East Coast. So they said, ah, we'll name this town Newark, you know. Now, Fremont, of course, is named after um, John, C. John Fremont. C. Fremont, who was the, wasn't he the first governor of California? Something like that. I believe, yeah. Yeah, and he, I think at one time ran for president of the United States as well. Right. I learned a, that all in my school in California. Yeah. And the area of Fremont, Niles. Niles Canyon? Niles that's Canyon. That's where did all the black and white, right? All the... All the um, the the films back then. Oh, Niles, yeah. Well, of Before course. Before Hollywood. Yeah. 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 yeah the Niles too. Well, that's where Charlie Chaplin worked out of. Yeah. 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 Before Hollywood. All the yeah. silent films. Yeah. And uh, let me see here. But I'm trying to remember. There's some other towns there, like out in the East Bay. I'm trying to remember some of the mm -hmm. names that are just the same as those names here. So. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin. Huh. Silent movies. Charlie Chaplin. Yep. Yeah, in Niles before Hollywood. Yep, yeah. uh, and I think the first maybe twelve pictures that Charlie Chaplin made were all made in Niles for that company, which was how oh, it was the name of it. Oh God, I just I'm I'm forgetting so much lately. Who am I? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, they, that's a nice little area. They have a car show like two times a year, and they have it right where the they have like a little downtown with uh, all these antique stores. Mm -hmm. And it's right near the train tracks. And that, that Alex, did you used to say that they used to take the trains down to back to LA or something? They used to use those trains to go back and forth. Well, for, uh, after they were done filming or something, I thought you were saying something. Well, like that, no, but. all I remember when I was a kid was that the ferry building had a ferry mm -hmm. that went over to Oakland, and that's where you picked up the train to go to LA or to go mm -hmm. up or whatever. The Southern Pacific ran out of there. And so you yeah. would take uh, the ferry across and then you would get on a train. Uh, that yeah, was your I don't first know about step. trains. No trains went through San Francisco. Yeah. No trains. Um, but they did They did go through the East Bay. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, well, good to have you here, uh, Alan. Uh, thank you, thank you. I, I happen to know somebody that you know. Uh, okay, and who would that be? Uh, your first guest of the night from 7 to 7.30 California time. Phil. Phil Meyer. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 We are good friends. Mm -hmm. He told me about your show. I find it interesting. I've watched other ones that are a little bit more exciting without super Republicans on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Are you a Republican? Uh, no, no. I'm a Democrat that yeah. actually voted for Trump. That actually, now there is a, is, wow. <laughs> well, there are questions to be asked, aren't there, Alan? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, did you vote for him this time, or did you vote for him the first time, or did you vote no. for him both times? Just, just this time, 2020. Now, wow. okay, so you weren't compelled to vote for him in 2016, so you must have voted for Hillary, right? Absolutely. Okay, so why did you vote for, after what I consider to be a terrible job of being president, failing the audition, as it were? Well, you know, the guy's an idiot. We all know that, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know, you know, because he he's done well with the economy. Has he? And that's about it. The economy, the economy right now sucks. We got well, twenty-two million people unemployed. Well. Twenty-two million people unemployed is sucks. Yeah, but that that's not his fault. That's COVID's fault. <laughs> that's well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ways mishandled COVID because he mis he mishandled COVID. Yeah. Oh, definitely mishandled COVID. So then the economy was his problem. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting on your case here. Oh, I'll, it's okay. I'll, I'll let Robert do that. I have fixed <laughs> skin. So I go, I go shooting with Phil. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Is, yeah. it, have you ever wanted to just like maybe clip him in the leg or something? Turn, yeah, turn <laughs> sideways. <laughs> Do a, do a, who was the vice president? That, uh, oh, yeah. 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 yeah uh, you're talking about Trump or Phil? Phil. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Either one. Uh, yeah. No, no, Phil's too good of a guy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, want to injure Phil. Now, let me ask you this yeah. question because he's not here now and we've never had anybody who could give us the scoop on this because he talks a lot about guns and how he goes to shooting ranges and how right. he loves guns and so on and so forth. Is he any good? Uh, he's a great shot. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I, I feel totally safe next to him. Really? Okay. Uh, because when I was in the, uh, in the Navy, one of the things we had to do was shoot. Okay. And so I uh, uh, went out to the range, and I shot, and I did so well, they called me a sharpshooter. Wow, that's great. And I, that's great. Yeah, but I hate guns. But it's easy, I hate guns. It's easy, it's easy to hit a target that's 100 feet out with a rifle. Mm -hmm. It's not so easy to hit a target that's 50 feet out with a pistol. And it's even mm -hmm. harder to hit somebody who's right next to you shooting, but I'm not suggesting anything. Well, you know, no, I wouldn't do that. But, uh, you know, Phil and I are good friends, and he's a good guy. And uh, there are some other people up there. I mean, one guy shot himself in the leg. And uh, claimed that his shirt caught the trigger. His shirt. <laughs> but Re uh, really. He's okay, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, good to have well, you, you know, here, Alan. I mean, what? We, we go shooting. Mm -hmm. We go shooting, and we shoot not only at the target, but we shoot on the move. And so we're all moving together back, forward, side to side. And that's where it gets really, really dangerous. Yeah. Okay. By the way, yeah. we've been joined by Kevin Stopper, who, by the way, I think has a longer beard than yours. <laughs> Who's He's Kevin? Hollister. Kevin's in Hollister. Kevin's in Hollister, yeah. Hollister. I know where that's at. Yeah. Yeah. Earthquake capital. Uh, the listen state. to you people in California, and there are three of you here, right? Yeah, three of you here. Let me ask you a question. Every now and then, you know, they talk about the fires out in California, and then they name a town that's on fire. And I go, I lived in California all my life. I never heard of that town. Do you have the same problem that they'll say, "Oh, such and such is on fire," and you go, "Where the hell is that?" Uh, no. That's what Google's for, to look it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I've driven in probably all of them. Really? Because yeah, Paradise. I, uh, paradise was one. I, where, I never heard of Paradise until I heard that Paradise was burning, mm. which is kind of I had family weird. there. Huh? I had paradise family is there. no longer Paradise. 
Yeah, no. And didn't it burn twice? It came the next year, burned again? And Megalia, a town yeah. called Megalia is right near it. Yeah. Really? And See? When, I live in California all my life. I never, you know. When Trump was there, he called it pleasure. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. So, so I said, of, uh, I said, yeah, I said pleasure was the stripper. Yeah. Paradise was the city. <laughs> he was thinking about her. <laughs> so, Robert, uh, I haven't been with us for a couple of nights. What do you think about all, everything that's happening? At the Is it all going like you expected? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and so don't don't make don't make assumptions that Phil's not watching. No, I oh no, that's I, fine with me. I know he's watching. That, that's fine with me. That's not going to intimidate me at all. Um, well, he knows that it's my first time coming on, so he may. You know, that's yeah. fine. That 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 doesn't matter either way. Um, yeah, I think nothing that that's happened surprises me. In fact, it's a lot of what I predicted, and I'll go further. If you think the Republicans in the, on Capitol Hill are going to go against Trump, you're 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 sadly mistaken because, you know, he's they're deathly afraid of the two races in Georgia. And the last thing on earth they need is for Trump to get sideways with them and decide that he's going to kick up his heels and tell his own supporters in Georgia not to vote for the two Republican candidates. Would you put it past them even if they get sideways with him that he comes out and supports the two Democrats? I don't think he's well, you know a something, loyal but, but, Republican but, at all. But would he, you are. would he do that, though? You know, I yes. mean, yes. You, you really think he, I know he's vindictive, oh, yeah. but is he that vindictive? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I think that's what's holding the Republicans at bay. Well, he went down there uh, this weekend uh, to campaign for them and then gave a hour and a half speech on how he got robbed of the election. Yeah, he pissed and whined. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't really do. Hours. He didn't really do. It all. He didn't do much to endorse them or to nope. give a good reason for people to vote for them. No, nope. he was there for almost two hours and probably two hours and fifteen minutes of it. That would was... be a death sentence to them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two hours and fifty minutes of it was him him bitching about the election, and ten minutes of it scattered about was yeah campaigning for Leffler and what's her name. Yeah, yeah. I, and... Still waiting for actual evidence that the election was all. Yeah. Well, I mean. There and hasn't the been kind of trashed all that today. Well, listen, by the way, how how I, yeah. I started to add up all the bad luck that uh Rudy Giuliani has had. Oh, no, he's had good <laughs> luck, he's in the hospital dying. Thank god, <laughs> <laughs> there is a god. No, he's not dying though. He's uh, oh, that's too bad. He's supposedly okay, but he, first of all, they catch him with his hand down his pants. Yes. In the in the Borat movie, and then uh, he um, uh, the Hilton, the landscaping company, the Hilton situation where it was a landscaping company and not a Hilton right. hotel. Four Seasons, and then oh, Four Seasons, yeah. Then his next piece of uh, of bad luck was well in Michigan uh, he was testifying and he farted. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it never stops for this guy. And then he comes down with COVID, and there was the hair, one of the hair dye. Oh, the, the hair, hair dye, dye. the hair dye COVID thing. Too. To everybody involved. Yeah, he was. He was. Like uh, in he was. Five states. He was oozing maple syrup. I don't know what that was. You know. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 well, doesn't he just get up one day and say, "I don't think I better go in public any longer." You know. I mean, it just doesn't you know, get any uh, better. Yes, uh, Jeff, turn on your mic. Turn on your mic. There we go. Just remember, mm -hmm. he used to be Mr. 9-11. Yeah, he was America's mayor. That's right. This is America's mayor because he he say you know he he was there during 9-11 and and did everything that was right. Oh, except for putting all the gasoline for the city's yeah. supply in one of those buildings. World Trade Center, yeah. When they told him if you're gonna put the gasoline anywhere put it out in brooklyn or out in queens where it's away from midtown but he didn't he put it there in what was uh, world trade center nine i think it's called and uh it blew up and guess why it caught fire 
gasoline. gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. I got a kick earlier out of Phil saying, well, it's not official yet because there are people who'll swear and testify that there was this, that, and the other thing that went wrong. Well, I could get five people in 20 minutes to swear that Bill Bixby, you know, created the heavens and the earth. You know, like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and that's you saw what happened in Michigan, right? Yeah. What, 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 what happened in Michigan now? Besides, I mean, uh, Giuliani farting and almost taking out the entire state. Well, they, they, um, uh, that hearing, um, one of the assembly women, the, the black assembly lady has been harassed to no end and been, uh, uh, getting, uh, racist phone calls for trying to get the, um, trying to get them to uh, uh, testify under oath mm -hmm. yeah and they weren't they weren't allowing them to testify under oath and so now she got all these harassing phone calls over the last few days um, literally nasty KKK type phone calls and she's being she's being nailed for this stuff and uh, you know it's really bad stuff I don't even want to talk about it on the you know, bad stuff. And um, then the, did you see the, the other thing down in um, Florida where they they raided that data scientist yeah. home mm -hmm. for the one that's uh, putting together all the, um, the, 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 the COVID, uh, the COVID numbers on the side mm -hmm. against DeSantos. Uh -huh. Not necessarily against the Santos. It's putting together more real numbers, I guess she was doing. Yeah. yeah. And she sent, you know, she was covering some some, some health health uh, people's stuff. Yeah. And yeah, they they asked her to, it. Yeah, they, they asked her to and, take. The, yeah, they, they took all to her equipment, but didn't arrest anybody. It was like this freaking Nazi. Why did they arrest yeah. her? No, no, they, they took her. They didn't phone. arrest her. They took all her equipment and they took, took all, everything, all her thumb drives and all her yeah. equipment and yeah. took it all away and then left her there. And why? This is the lady that was asked to change how they record the data. Yeah. So, she, yeah, so, so instead of collecting the data like they had been the, all this time, they were asked because the numbers were going a little skewed. They asked her to, to, take, to take the data and organize it a different way. Mm -hmm. And so the big thing there is they didn't take the modems and stuff. They actually took her phone. They wanted to see who her contacts were. Well, they wow. took all the thumb drives and her computers, too. Yeah. What are they trying to do? Keep the numbers artificially low in Florida then? Yeah, DeSantis then, had fired her for not doctoring the numbers. Yeah, That's about yeah. five or six months ago. Wow. How, and the weather going after her now. Yeah. I heard that they were pointing, uh, the, the state troopers were pointing guns in the kids' faces, her kids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. God forbid somebody should want to figure out what's going on health wise down in Florida. Yeah, uh, and DeSantos is saying, I don't know nothing. Yeah, how's it going in your state? Patrick Blazik has joined us, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Patrick. He's, hey, our, Pat. he's our very own elf on the shelf. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he's got uh, he's got uh, two uh, baby Yodas or whatever. Three. What? Three. Well, no, the one in the back is a real Yoda, isn't it? What What do you got in the back? You got a, You got two baby Yodas. Regular Yoda. Yeah. Two baby Yodas. Ah, okay. Yeah. Who is now, his name is... Greener. Huh? <laughs> but he also has a name now. He's not uh, yeah. he's, he's not baby Yoda anymore. He's like Gorgu or something like that. Grogu. Huh? Grogu. Grogu. So, anyway... How you doing, Patrick? How's everything in uh, in your neck of the woods? Uh, it could be better, but you know, who who's gonna bitch? Well, you know, you could. You know, I mean, how does it get you anywhere? How's the death rate in your in your area? Not good, right? It, it is what it is. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I like Robert's state because he's making us look good. Yeah. You know, uh, we, we, well, we only had 74 deaths today, yesterday. Dr. Uh, death has his hand up. Yes, uh, Dr. Death. Yes, Charlie. How many deaths have you had there in Texas? Wow. Oh, we had 182 wow. today. But uh, in, the, in the country, we had 2496, which comes out to 35 
I mean, one dead American every 35 seconds. So during the show, we've lost about, what, 80, 85 Americans? We better stop the show. Yeah, we better stop the show because one of you might drop off. You know, we can't, uh, can't have that happen. Uh, I don't know. I just, you know, it's, it's, I'm afraid to go out there. A million cases every five oh. days. Yeah, the doctor calls me a day, wants to have me come over to see him. I'm going. Alex, don't don't worry, Alex. It's only killing Republicans. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Well, the reason is because Republicans aren't wearing masks. Yeah, because they've turned it right. into, into a political issue. Now you're wearing a mask, aren't you, Alan? When you're out? Absolutely. I got one that Phil recommended. Oh yeah, this mm-hmm. is this one, the one that keeps Ooh, falling. All matching now. I got it on. <laughs> the, 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 it works well, good. Yeah, but the trouble well, is, it won't stay on my face. And as long as it's not on my face, it doesn't steam up my glasses. You see, I mean, uh, I, I I got uh, uh, well now that uh, there that's falling that's off. Right. Let me see here. Mm. That's right. There we I go. But right the, now. the problem I have is because I have this big Jewish nose. That's right. And and when I'm talking, it either goes up or it... It makes you look younger, Alex. Well, of course. That's the one great thing about... This has been a boon, by the way, for ugly people. Okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And... and, and and Democrats. Democrats are buying them like crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. My friends have been telling me to wear a mask for 20 years. I guess they saw this disease coming. Yeah. I, you know, I, I would have thought by now they would yeah, have. Yeah, absolutely. Te- technologically, they would have come out with better masks. But really, when you get down to it, this is the gold standard right here. Absolutely. You know? I mean, that's It makes the- you feel good, but it doesn't protect you at all. <laughs> no, no, it does protect you. Actually, this has like three it layers, actually, three layers of protection. So the surgical mask is made to protect others, mm-hmm. and if they wear one, they're protecting you. So they you protect each other. Yeah. Well, actually, my feeling is that what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do what I did during the uh, AIDS thing. Uh, I'm going to wear a condom over my head, <laughs> and that should uh, that should take care of it. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I was watching a documentary the other day on uh, Reagan uh, and on his whole kind of non-handling of the AIDS crisis. You know, it took right. him a while before he came around. Yes. And they kept showing doctors, you know, who were talking about the AIDS crisis during that part of the documentary. Right. And there was a young Dr. Fauci. Yep. Oh, really? Wow, really? Well, he yeah. was the guy who came up with the, I think, with the cocktail, didn't he? For the treatment. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know who came up with it. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. He's a smart guy. He's yeah. been you he's know? been around for he's a long time. He's one of the smartest time. guys in the, in, in, in the world when it comes to this type of stuff. And too bad the Republicans don't listen to him. Well, yeah. he, he's, he's the go-to Including guy. Including Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he early on, he said, don't wear a mask. But the reason he said don't wear a mask was because there weren't any masks available for the for the hospitals. And so he didn't want everybody running out and hoarding masks. Absolutely. I, I totally you agree know. with you. Uh, but after they were available everywhere, he said, wear a mask. And he, he yeah. stuck with that. And But anyway, it's nice to see that Biden has put him on his, you know, his medical team. Well, Phil loves to throw that at me all the time where that Fauci said, don't wear a mask early on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Fauci, however, his whole his whole thing was that, uh, you know, he just didn't want to get people suddenly. They had enough problems with the PPE. They didn't want worse problems because all of a sudden everybody was running out and buying right, masks. Right. But you would and think so you would yeah, just so think in we, all in all of this they would have somebody would have come out with better technology for masks. You know? But right. nothing really works better than this little thing, you know? Yeah. Uh and and you would have thought they make that out of used diapers, right? That's right. That's right. And <laughs> they're also known as a chin napkin. That's right. That's yeah, right. Because people wear. It I, like I love this. when people wear it like that yeah. to protect their chin. <laughs> Reminds me of some of the idiots I used to work with. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, but uh, so I don't know. I mean, uh, we're um, it, 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 it. How bad was it today in the country, Charlie? It was. It, is it the worst day yet, or are we? Getting no, a little it, bit? it was two hundred and eighteen thousand cases today. We've been averaging over two hundred thousand cases a day for the past horrible. week. That's horrible. And all it we t- passed fifteen million. All it would take was for people. Two hundred eighty-two thousand, I think, have died. Something like that. Yeah, are we up at two hundred eighty thousand? Well, over so that, over I mean, that. It, they I said, heard two eighty-two. What I heard was before before Biden becomes president, that we'll be up to four hundred thousand dead. Probably right. You know, over three hundred thousand by by um, Christmas. Yep. Yep. I mean, we're getting, you know, we're getting close to, if we get to 400,000, we're about 100,000 away from all the people that died in World War II. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not, I just, I just wish people would do what they got to do and let's get this over and done with, you know. Um, even if we have the, uh, the, the, the vaccine, that's not immediately going to turn things around. Uh, we've got to hit at least 70, 75% before yeah. it is effective in the country. And, herd and immunity. Some, uh, uh, yeah, uh, some kind of herd immunity. And uh, the, the fact is that when they polled people and asked them if they would use it, only about 50% say they would use the, uh, use the vaccine. And, and yet the vaccine, it's not a, it, you know, they're not shooting you up with the, uh, with the COVID. They're, it's no. a... Uh, what they call it? It's a, um, it's some kind of a, a, a device where it lets your body know you have COVID and then creates an antibody for it. RNA. Uh, yeah. What what yeah. what would you say, Brian? Because Brian's company makes uh, this little yeah, device, right. which is yeah, uh, like Alan's saying, it's RNA technology, and it's a it's a part of the strand of of COVID that they put in you. But it's not with, COVID. With other stuff. It's not COVID. They yeah. say but, the worst that happens is you have a flu-like symptoms for a couple of days. Mm. That's the worst that happens. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all. But uh, 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 Patrick, if you, if offered the shot, would you take it? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Yeah, but I get I get all my vaccines. I'm not one of those goofy anti-vaxxer people no so. yeah yeah uh who was that woman that actress uh, Danny, McCarthy. Danny mccarthy Danny mccarthy oh by the way yeah. she's employed by sirius xm let me just mention that <laughs> uh, this woman i mean you know she's i think responsible for the death of little kids oh, okay yeah. because of her whole anti-vaxxing thing mm. and now you know the latest anti-vaxxing stuff about you know, the COVID vaccine is that it has a chip in it where they can follow you around. Okay. Uh, uh, there's also uh, another chip you have. It's in your cell phone. They can follow yeah. you around. Yeah. It is. Hello. Yeah. 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 But I mean, all these rumors and stuff that start and how, you know, you, you can't do it and it's going to be terrible. Hey, folks, if we just all take it, if we all get it, goodbye. No more COVID. Okay, it's gone. It's it's yeah. We're going to have to worry about the next thing that comes along, and how we're going to start working to prevent that one from happening. But you know, we won't have to worry about this. Well, I was hearing tonight that this vaccine they've actually been working on for seventeen years. Yeah. In fact, oh, yeah. one of the doctors that was involved in its creation uh, worked yeah. the um, the uh, doctors building that I go to in mm. Princeton and um, they've been working on it for 17 years. They didn't know specifically that it would be this strain of COVID, but they were going after what they call spike protein yeah. know, viruses yeah. have been since before SARS. And when this came along, they said, let's try it on this and see if yeah, it works. They had a baseline to work from in yeah. effect. So the other thing is, is that, uh, and I'm sure Phil would probably say this, uh, that, uh, um, that it, the flu came from China. It's the Chinese flu. It's the China well, flu. Well, we got to call it the Trump flu. Yeah, the, the China flu. And the fact well, is the they Trump have flu. found, they have found that they were doing tests back, oh, I think in October for something else, and they were taking blood samples. 
So they just recently went back and looked at those blood samples, and guess what they found in the blood samples? COVID. So it didn't come from uh, from China. It came Absolutely. from somewhere. Absolutely, the Trump flu. The Trump flu. It's the Trump flu. The Trump flu. Since he screwed it up so badly, he deserves yeah. the naming right. So why, why, if he screwed up so badly, did you vote for him? Well, you know, who <laughs> knew that he was going to turn into the idiot that he is? <laughs> you mean the idiot after the election now? Yes, yeah. that's what I uh, mean. You know what? I've, and I've, I've, had a, I've had a handful of friends that used to disagree with me on Facebook about Trump. They said the exact same thing. Absolutely. They said they're, they're tired of his. They're tired of all this now. They say you know, as, especially after all the election stuff, it's just gone off. I off agree the rails with you, now. Brian. We yeah. ought to give him naming rights to the flu. <laughs> well, they, they want to name the vaccine. Some of you want to name the vaccine after him. Call it the Trump vaccine. I, that I don't think is a great idea. They put him on Ru Mount Rushmore. Yeah. So anyway, what what other things can we talk about? You know, it, it's always it, we don't have to talk about the same thing all the time. Uh, and I'm wondering, once Biden becomes president, then what are we going to talk about at all? You know, uh, that's show and tell. Well, no, what I like about our Monday show is we just talk about stuff, right? You know, yeah. like how's the weather where you are? And, oh, what isn't what is it, that you're holding? Not up? Monday. What is that you're holding up, Jeff? This is a good chip. You see, you guys are worried about having a chip. Yeah, this is a real chip. Is that the thing you've got implanted in you? What is that? A spare you keep around the house just in case the other one falls out or something? Or in case. Now you helped uh, develop that, right? Uh, this one, not too. Let's see. I got to look at the name on it. No. No. Okay. But uh, anyway, they gave me this. It was one of the bad ones or whatever do you feel that <laughs> inside you that's an imitation prostate isn't it <laughs> i put my finger right there i can feel it sure really oh okay and it's that big you know and it also sends wow. signals to your phone and your phone calls the hospital and tells them how your heart's doing that's right and you don't wow. have to do anything it just does it all on its own hopefully hopefully it's <laughs> <laughs> How long are the batteries good for? Long time. I mean, what's That's long what time? what I thought. Long time. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> ten, huh? 10 years. 10, 15 years, the battery? Right. Mine's good for five years or 10 years, yeah. Well, you have your a... I, your, your iPhone and iWatch will send signals stuff to the doctor, too. Yeah, but wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, Ken, uh, Kevin, you're talking, but you're talking about the thing they put in your back, right? Yeah, stimulator. Stimulator. And Final cord stimulator. Right. So what happens at the end of 10 years if, let's say, you, you get a notification, replace your batteries? You go in and they, they replace They cut you them. open and put a new one in. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I watch is the way to go. Yeah, the way they implant the eye watch in you. That's what they no, should do. You wear the eye watch. I see. Well, I have my eye watch here and it isn't even charged yet. What's the problem with that? Okay. Well, you need the newest model, Alex. The newest mo model? You know, I've gotten to the point where I'm, I, you know, they always oh, come out with a new eye watch. New watch, rather. Mm -hmm. Apple watch. They come out with a new iPad. They come out with a new iPhone. And I've gotten to the point where I'm going, I really need a new one. You know, I mean, my phone just works just fine. And I don't know what the new one will do. Oh, yes, it does 5G now. So This is the new laptop. This is the new laptop they gave me at work. Yeah. yeah. And what happens is it goes all the way around, and now it's an iPad. Tablet. But it's, right. it's, not, it's not a Mac. It's not, not Apple. It's not an Apple, yeah. That's an HP. It's the HP New Slim wow. Yeah. yeah, so now and I have a pen so I can write my notes and it'll send an email through my notes. That's neat. Yeah. And you have a back as your Oh, that's cool. That's nice. I also my work oh, pays wow. for it. So I also the Macs now by Hewlett Packard. Wow, clever. The, yeah. The, yeah, the, the, the Macs have come out with a new uh new chip. Um and supposedly this new chip is really incredible. It it takes a like a mini Mac and turns it into just a powerhouse. You know, but I mean, come on. You know, I'm getting to the point where I'm just going, 
do I really need a new watch? Do I really need a new phone? I mean, this phone, this month, will be paid off. Okay? Do I really need to run out and buy another new one? <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> I, I, I know what you're saying because I am an asshole that way. Let's see here. Phil just sent me a message. Well, you just lease them. Alan wants to get in. He is in the waiting room. Oh, that was a while ago. That he yeah, that's that. an old while ago. Yeah. So he, he's vouching for you, Alan. All right. Well, you, thank you. You're allowed on the thank show. Thank you. Uh, what Who you, was vouching for me? Raise your hand so I can see. Uh, or a foot or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, Patrick, what, what have you been watching lately? Let's get to something simple. What are you watching lately? Uh, nothing. Just, I've been <laughs> watching movies. I watch Tor, Tor, Tor because apparently our fucking country is starting to forget things like Pearl Harbor. We all do. We always do. That, that's yeah. the problem. We've always had that problem. You know, um, so I've been watching things like that. Um, yeah. There's nothing on TV to watch. Um, I don't have Netflix. I don't have any of that streaming shit. Oh. Uh, I won't pay for it. So mm -hmm. um, I got regular cable. I watch evening news at 10 o'clock. And yeah, that's about it. I, I do mostly reading and, and that. So yeah. Well, I um, um, what did we watch? Oh, you only watch that. Uh, you, hear, you ever hear of this movie, Tenet? This was done by, um, what's his <coughs> name, who did, uh, who did the Batman films. And um, it, it was, he would, would only release it to the theaters. He wouldn't Donald sell. Trump Jr. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he I'm, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, God, why, why am I just out of it? I can't remember names. Are you kidding me? Hold on welcome second. to your 60s, Alex. No, oh, welcome my 60s. 60s. God, you're making me young. That's it, what I am in my 60s. Well, I'm in memories my, going. I'm in my 80s. Okay, <laughs> uh, Tenet, uh, uh, directed by um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Christopher Nolan. Nolan. Christopher yeah, Nolan. Okay. I didn't even have to see it. Once I looked for it, I was uh, Christopher Nolan. Oh well, thank you. Uh, Raise your hand so I can see who's talking. Yeah. Uh, uh, whoever's lit up, whoever turns up uh, with a, oh, okay. a, a yellow yeah, square around him is talking. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, uh, we watched this thing tonight. I, we spent two and a half hours watching Tenet. And I, if you ask me what it's about, I can't tell you. Oh, it just made no sense at all. Has anybody seen this picture? No. He wouldn't release yeah, that's it. That's my he, new time. I he, learning he, how to use Zoom. He wouldn't. He wouldn't sell it on. Uh, uh, you know, how, like they're selling stuff now on uh, on pay per view for cable and so on. He wouldn't go that route. He wanted it in the theaters where people could get infected and everything else. So nobody went to see the goddamn movie. So I figured I'd watch it and see what the hell it was about. Oh. Terrible. It just makes no sense at all. And then the other thing I was watching was The Godfather, Coda. He took Godfather <laughs> 3, took away the 3, put the name Coda on it, yes. and it is a recut of Godfather 3, which, as we all remember, <laughs> was god-awful. Right? Oh, you don't know, Robert. Well, you didn't see it. Anybody here see Godfather 3? Yeah. It was yeah. terrible. Are you agree with me, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. So he went in and re-edited it. And guess what? We only watched about a half hour of it so far. And it, it, it's just as bad as the original. It's amazing <laughs> it how called? you, you know. It's what's the movie called? Godfather Coda. Oh. C O D A instead of Godfather God, Three. Godfather Dakota. It's the it's the it's the Godfather Three, re-edited. Uh, to begin with, he can't make his daughter's acting any better than it was. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm I'm waiting to see what he does with the rest of it. Just see if it changes. 
It, it hasn't, not much has changed, okay? He did shorten it. That may be one of the things he did that was okay. But that's what I'm watching, Patrick. So if you care to join me. <laughs> well, I, I, I saw the, the trailer for it, you know, and, and it, what did it, Coda, the, the death of Michael Corleone? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, uh, I'll watch it. Eventually I'll see it, but I'm not expecting anything other than what I've already seen. And I saw a three in the theater. And I remember um, during the intermission, sitting there thinking this, they should have just stopped it too. Well, <laughs> what, here's what happened. They, Coppola wanted to stop it too. He saw no reason to make a three. And then they gave him a good reason. We're Paramount. We Money. own the franchise. We're going to do three. And we're going to get Sylvester Stallone to direct it yeah, and write it. <laughs> and that was enough to make Coppola write and direct it. Mm -hmm. And he just did it, not even for the money. He just didn't want anybody else ruining his, uh, his yeah. property, you know. And he said he never considered the third picture to be a sequel. He considered it to be a standalone picture about this guy who'd been, you know, a Don and was trying to get on with his life. Uh, but I mean, it was it was god awful. It was just horrible. And the and the edited version, eh, a little better, you know, it, it improves on it. But it doesn't it doesn't make you want to go back and say, okay, now I can take all three of them as one. You know, it's kind of like I don't know what happens, but whenever they make a, a a trilogy, the third one always sucks. I mean, even Star Wars, the third one sucked. When they had those Ewoks, those little teddy bears with <laughs> lips, you know, I went... We got one, he's called the President of the United States. Yes, I understand that. Anyway, uh, uh, you know, um, and you like the Star Wars pictures, right? That's your... Patrick, that's one of your favorite things, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but what did you think of the third picture? You know, Return of the Jedi. I thought it was fine. I, I mean, there were parts of it I didn't like, but at least it, it gave an ending for Darth Vader. And, and I mean, you can't take that away. The yeah. Emperor. There were all. There were a lot of good things in it that overshadowed, that overtook the shitty part. So I would say, yeah. you know, Empire is my favorite. Star Wars the first and my second, and mm -hmm. then Jedi the third. Yeah. So. Right. Right. But uh, the second picture was terrific. It was just terrific. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, Godfather, the second picture, I almost like better than the first one. Um, uh, and uh, it was, I think, in and of itself, a, a pretty perfect motion picture. And it, it holds a distinction. The two, Godfather and Godfather 2, hold what distinction? Do you remember? They were the only <clears throat> film and its sequel to both win Academy Awards for Best Picture. Mm. So that's how good it was. Or maybe how bad it was. I don't know. A lot of terrible pictures win Academy Awards, too. Yeah. But anyway. Um, so and any good TV anybody's watching? I'm, I'm trying to take this thing away from Trump. You know. Well, you got me watching, uh, um, was it... Um Designated Survivor or whatever. Oh, I'm really? Watching that. Boy, you're hey, late, Alex. On... What do you, what? Alex? What do you think about defunding the police? Well, I don't know that defunding is what we should do. I I think that we probably overfund the police, uh, and we could pull back on that and put that money into other programs, which also serve a lot of the things the police are now trying to do. In other words, right. when they go out to a domestic quarrel, right. uh, a cop shouldn't have to go out with a gun and tear gas. What should go out is some kind of social worker who knows how to break up a family fight. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm not for defunding the police, but I'm, I'm, for all, I'm for appropriating the money more wisely. Okay? Yeah. Uh, it's just like I feel we spend way too much money on the military. Way too much. I mean, we spend, 
I think Sets. something like over 50% of our tax dollars go to the military. <clears throat> and yeah. that we are the largest uh, military industrial complex in the world. The right. second biggest is England, and only $8 out of every tax dollar goes to that, to their ser military service. So I think we could cut back on the military budget. I don't think we need it as much as we once did. You know, I don't think we need as many soldiers as we once had because most of our stuff can be done by s satellites and rockets right. and... Drones. Drones and things. We're fighting most of our wars with drones now as it is already. You just need some guy sitting out in Arizona in a trailer thinking he's playing a video game. You know. So, I mean, we could cut yeah, back on you, that. You might be right. They're and it isn't a matter of cutting back on the military's effectiveness. It's a matter of not spending, overspending <clears throat> the money we spend on it which is what we do. So that's how I feel about the police. I mean, I don't know why the police, when they come out to something tactical, look like they're stormtroopers and like they're some kind of army with tanks and everything. Oh, the bad guys got high-powered rifles and stuff. They got to wear stuff to protect them. Well, they got to wear stuff to protect them, but, I mean, they're coming out there with tanks. Uh, they're not tanks. They're uh, armored personnel carriers. Uh, well, the same thing. You know. yeah, it's not a tank. Uh, let me ask, let me ask Patrick. Patrick, what do you think about this? I think the more the more they have, the better. What? I mean, you know, most of the stuff is donated by the military once it's phased out, mm -hmm. so it's not really costing any more for the taxpayers. So if they've got APCs and and um, they've got Hummers. I mean, why shouldn't they? I mean, they're running. Look what we went through through the summer with the rioting and that bullshit. Mm -hmm. I would have just started putting plows on the front of them, and as soon as motherfuckers to be in the road, just start running towards them. They'll move. Well, then why don't instead of paying money for that, why don't we just use snow plows? <laughs> because they they're not as they're not as armored because you might have some. Wait a minute! Have you seen all the metal in the front of those snow plows? Well, yeah, but the sides of them aren't, and you can't tell me that people wouldn't try to start shooting through the sides of the vehicle. Yeah. So, no, I, I think the the police should have anything that they need that they deem necessary, and if they're getting the shit as uh, leftovers from the military. Why not? Robert, what's your take on this? Um, I worry about the police and overreach, frankly. Um, I go back to the original point about defunding the police. I'm not in favor of defunding the police, but I am in favor of rethinking what roles the police have. I'll give you a case in point. I found about six months, no, about a year ago, I found a, um, a wallet outside a, a drugstore late at night, and it had the person's identification in it. It had money, credit cards, and the like. And I called my local police force to just ask them, what should I do? Should I reach out and make contact with the individual? Do you guys handle it? Well, before you know it, they sent two squad cars to my house and four policemen and they started grilling me about where I found it, how much was in it when I found it. Oh. And I'm not against the fact that they asked the questions. I'm not. But it struck me at that moment that this is overkill. Like, you know, we don't need police officers to speak to me to do a simple public service for somebody. You know, it seems to me that lesser individuals who are, you know, connected to my township mm -hmm. could probably have done pretty much the same stuff. And maybe I could have learned to trust that they would see to it that, well, instead I had four police officers on my lawn with, you know, full gear. And, and, and I thought this seems like a waste of 
assets. You know, it just like what? Why? Why? Well, what did they do uh, eventually? They just take the wallet. Eventually, they took the wallet and promised that it was going to get to the individual in question, which I probably could have done myself, but I didn't want to reach out to this individual cold because I was afraid that you know this person might see me as a threat of some kind mm -hmm. or thief worse yet and so I thought I'd do the right thing and call the community and ask well you know what's the procedure for something like this and before you know it it was an international incident and my <laughs> neighbors all said what the fuck happened to you last night you know they thought I got busted for something and that's just a small example. You brought up domestics and things like that, mm -hmm. where, you know, maybe we could rethink who gets called to do what. Maybe we don't need police to take the cat out of the out of the know, tree. You could call the, the ASPCA. Just, you use a good. sort of smart ass example. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, no. it's like misuse of of trained individuals. Right. Use your resources as best you possibly can. That's all I that's all yeah. I would be a proponent of, not necessarily cutting back funding or stuff. How like about that. you, Steve? You've been kind of quiet. How do you feel about this whole question of defunding the police, which I think is a bad term? But uh, I, 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 I agree with you. Uh, allocate the money a different way. Yeah, it re reappropriate it's spread yeah. it around a little differently where it's mo the most effective. Yeah. Uh, because the police should not be in the business of breaking up domestic spats, you know, yeah. and yet they, they're called out for that. Uh, they're called out for a lot of things that are just a complete waste of their time and resources. And we could then pay uh, psychologists and social workers and so on to take up that slack. So when something like that happens, oh, we have a domestic disturbance, You've got some people who handle domestic disturbances. There's I was out of college. I was a dispatcher for New Jersey State Police, civilian yeah. dispatcher for mm -hmm. New Jersey State Police for yeah. about a year and a half. Yeah. And you'd be shocked at some of the calls that New Jersey State Troopers were asked to respond to. And I used to think that, you know, there could be major accidents along our interstates right. that they could be helping out with, but they're they're doing knit net stuff. And I used to think, you know, why isn't this falling to people other than them, the more highly trained individuals? It used to be shocking. Kevin, how do you feel about this whole matter? Pretty much the same. I don't think they need to be, you know, defunded in any way. You know. Do you uh, think that do you think they're overfunded? No, not necessarily. Okay. I think they just need to be retrained. I think uh, a lot of them are, you know, coming out of the military and still think they're in the military, but uh, I think they just need to be uh, refocused on what they're really supposed to be doing and uh, probably need to, uh, yeah, you know, be retrained. Brian, some, of them, some of them are just, most of them are just fine. Brian, any how do you, quick? How do you retrain them? I, I think I think one of the problems is so I, I have a few friends that are CHP and SWAT and San Jose PD, and Sorry. the the bad no no they're, they're longtime friends. So, but I, I think the problem is you know even the good cops know who the bad cops are, and how do we get those bad cops either retrained if they're trainable or out? And how do you get the good cops confident enough? Yeah. To to, uh, to somehow turn in the bad cops, yeah. You know, well, I think, but I think, I think if you go to work, I mean, if, if you guys are working and you guys know who those people are at your work, yeah. people who are doing the wrong things, yeah. maybe stealing from work or lazy at work or whatever, and everybody just puts up with it, and that's how those cops are. The the good cops know who those bad cops are, and they just put up with it. They just you know, they just do whatever and they ignore it. Uh, just They're, quickly, uh, Steve. Alex with training. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Steve? Yeah, I was just going to say that uh, maybe they should go back to having cops walking the beat like they used yeah. to. Well, that, 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 we could get into that some night. That's one of the things I've been yelling about for years. It's really years. very important. Yeah, they're driving around in a big, scary car. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And if the only time they see the world outside is when they get out of that car, and it's usually because there's something bad going on, and it gives Probably them an attitude. Is, the beats are too big these days. Yeah, I guess and you're if right. If they were part of the, if they were walking the beat, they could get yeah. to know the people. Hey, our theme is playing. That means it's time to say good night to Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Steve. Jeff. Brian Neary, thank you. Thank you to Charlie. Always wonderful having you here. Robert, you're a delight. Alan, please call again. It's nice to have you here as part of this mix-up. And you're right All next right. To, uh, in picture to uh, Kevin, who also has a lovely beard, as do you. And finally, of course, uh, our old friend Patrick Blazik, who when he calls, always right. elevates the show to another level. Thank you, everybody. He looks like he has Yoda ears, by the way, because of the way he's positioned. Everybody, <laughs> give a big wave goodbye, okay? And I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. And uh, that's it for tonight, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, pretty good, huh? Yeah, nice, nice little discussion. Group of people having a good time. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you again, uh, let's see, here tomorrow night, the, the uh, sports show. The franchise MC, the arena, is on at 8.30 Eastern Daylight Time. And then at 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time, I'll be back again, same time, same station in life. So in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, stay safe out there and be sure you wear a mask. That would be really, really nice, not only for yourself, but your fellow person. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.